The purpose of the M1 cardiac ultrasound lab is to demonstrate the anatomic relationships of the cardiac structures. The image you are being asked to obtain for this lab assignment is a parasternal long axis view of the heart. The long axis of the heart runs approximately from the right shoulder to the left hip. Medical grade ultrasound cannot pass effectively through air or bone. The term cardiac windows refers to areas on the anterior chest wall through which the ultrasound beam can effectively reach the heart. The second through the fifth intercostal spaces, just lateral to the sternum on the left side of the chest, will typically be the best choice to obtain a parasternal long axis view of the heart. The patient should lie in the left lateral oblique position on the examination table. The table can be raised to a comfortable level if needed. You can scan from either the right or the left side of the patient. If necessary, adequate images can be obtained with the patient in the supine position, but the best images are generally obtained with the patient in the left lateral position. Attach a probe suitable for cardiac imaging to the ultrasound device. It should have a small footprint, a sector display format, and a frequency range of 1.5 to 3.6 MHz. Select the cardiac preset on the ultrasound device. Locate the probe orientation marker. The probe orientation marker corresponds with this marker on the ultrasound display. During cardiac imaging, this marker should be located to the right of the image. During other ultrasound applications, this marker will be located to the left of the image. Scan with the probe marker pointing toward the patient's right shoulder. Start scanning in the left parasternal region, just lateral to the sternum from the second to the fifth intercostal spaces. While scanning, the image can be improved by slight rotation and tilt of the probe. This is a parasternal long axis view of the heart. The focus and depth of the ultrasound beam should be adjusted so that the desired structures can be viewed in the highest quality possible. The focus should be set to approximately the level of the posterior wall of the left ventricle. The depth should be set so that the posterior wall of the left ventricle and the pericardium are included in the image. The following structures should be clearly visible in the image. The left ventricle, left atrium, aorta, right ventricle, aortic valve, mitral valve, interventricular septum, and the posterior wall of the left ventricle. Consult the class handouts for directions on how to submit images once they have been obtained.